This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a very common problem on a gas stove, especially the front burners. They typically will get to a point where they'll click, but they won't light. And this is pretty easy to resolve, maybe take you five minutes. We just have to clean this little thing called the gas jet. And it li lives in a part called the burner head. And the burner head is this thing we see in the upper left-hand corner. And then down on the upper right-hand corner, we can see where that little gas jet is. It's down inside there a bit. So we have to have something kind of long that we can and pointy that we can reach down in there to, to clean with, like maybe a straightened out paper clip would work. So we reach down inside there, inside that little hole, and we wiggle around <clears throat> the sharp implement so that we can get all the crud out of that gas jet and that helps the gas a more gas come out and then it's more likely to light so I've got this little pointy tool and we don't want to increase the size of that brass metal hole so we don't want to use like a drill bit or anything but something pointy should be fine just to break up some of the debris that's in the way and in this particular instance, doing that alone did not resolve the problem. So this one, I also needed to take uh, another sharp implement. I'm actually using a dental pick here to remove some more of the debris that was over near where the igniter is. So the gas comes out and yeah, you know, when I tried it, it still didn't, didn't work. So I had to do a little bit more cleaning took the burner uh, cap back off and I used the tool to really get inside each one of the grooves I could see and break away some stuff that was in the way. I did the one on the right hand side and then it did work right away. It fired up. It's usually the front burners where you see the problem. There we go. And then the left one just needed a little bit more cleaning. So on the left side took off the burner cap again and just cleaned right around where um, the igniter is. The igniter spark looked really good, but the gas was just not able to flow to that area near the igniter to ignite the gas. So I had to get in there and scrape some of the stuff off. It looked like probably at some point um, some milk was being cooked or some rice and it boiled over and coated the metal surface. So I'm just doing a good job to clean that metal surface. It's not recommended that you use water to do that because the water will ground out the uh, system and it'll just keep sparking over and over. Let's put the cap back on and there we go. So that did the trick. I'm also going to use a little bit of this electrical cleaner. You don't have to, but if you have some, you spray it around the uh, where the igniter is and also you spray it into the gas jet. When you light it, you'll get a pretty big flame, and that's just the cleaner being burned off. It's okay, it won't hurt anything, so just let that burn off, and that help, can help to clean it a little bit more. But usually it's just more of a mechanical action. You have to clear the path for the gas to flow, so it has to be able to get over near that igniter, and stuff just gets in the way, so cleaning cleaning that really well and then clean that little brass jet hole down in the middle will often resolve it within like a minute. You can get it done really fast. It's just testing it out and works great. So this should be able to get your stove working again really fast. Hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.